decided to adapt Ayn Rand's anthem, um, and I'm going to let him talk about that. Ladies and gentlemen, Tool Publications, Kinetic uh, artist uh, and writer Ken Krekler. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. I know no one knows who I am. It's fine. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us um, seen your video already, so. <laughs> so I actually had this whole thing, so I had all these cards um, where I talk about myself and then explain what I'm doing. But there's uh, The Fountainhead is a book that I like. And in The Fountainhead, um, there's a trial. Well, was, was, it, was it the Stouter Temple? Yeah. No. I am the one. <laughs> so we're just gonna, this is a two minute video, it's real quick. It is a sin to write this. Do you guys even like comic books? Do you guys like comics? Yeah. 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 Again, don't just say yes. Just like say comics. Comics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I get it. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, well, I got lots of them back home. I mean, I've got, you know, first edition of Next Generation comics. First edition of what? Uh, Star Trek Next Generation comics. They oh, like, oh. adapted the, you know, backstories of some people and thrown it into a comic. Yeah, can we do this? I read Anthem, and I think it's a, it's a great book to do a comic on. It's um, or a graphic novel on, rather. It's it's short enough, but it's also you know a very intense story, and I think the artwork really matches up well with it. Yeah, I do have one other video that I'd like to show. I know you guys have been here all day, and I know I'm the la I was second to the last person and stuff, so I'm going to try and keep it quick. But I do have one other video that's about eight minutes long. Do you guys mind if I show that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 programs do you use to create your art? Photoshop. Photoshop? And how did you get that 3D effect for the the, the film part of it? Actually, that uh, is a video program called After Effects. It's okay. It's also an Adobe program. I got that. Um, I actually learned how to do 3D effects. I learned how to do 3D effects for the first time doing that shot. That shot took all day. It's 12 seconds, but it took all day. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else, though. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> You have 10 seconds. No, nope. you were too late. <laughs> Somebody over there. So, what, what was the most difficult thing about adapting the anthem so far? Um, that there's not much dialogue. <clears throat> um, when, I'm sorry? Well, he talks to himself a lot. Yeah. But there's not uh, back and forth with people. Yeah. So, yeah. So, when you do something like that, so there's. How many people have not read Anthem? It's all right, don't be nervous. I don't want to go there. Forget it. Forget it. I'll retract that question. Anyway, there's a part in the book where he talks about his best friend, and he talks about uh, how he meets this best friend, um, and he basically just says it the way that I would tell you about my best friend. You know, we hang out, we met at the bar, we worked together, I don't know, whatever. But in order to do something like that in a comic book, you have to actually see that happen. You have to have one person say something and another person say something. So you have to make up words that she didn't really say and try to make that okay somehow. Good answer, right, everybody? <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> okay, this is just a general question. Um, do you think you get permission to, to do this from um, somebody? Anthem is in the public domain. Uh, it's like doing Pinocchio. 
Mm. Well, I would have known that you could do that with three. <laughs> so it's okay. Uh, how long does it take? Hold on, I want to I want to point to you first. I don't like this. Oh. <laughs> how long does it take you to do one page? I don't know. I get drunk and then it's all done. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, I, there you go. Okay, so you there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your? Can you describe your work process as far as you hire models? Is that one part of the cost? Is so you can like take photograph them in different. Yeah, I do hire models. Um, you have to have people that are comfortable with you to do crazy positions because if you have, for example, somebody leaps over a building, maybe you have an upshot. You have to have somebody that's going to come over, male or female, it doesn't really matter, and they got to be like, okay, so I'm going to lie on the ground. Uh, I'm going to lie on the ground. Ow. <laughs> and just totally trust the fact that this is not a weird thing and that you're actually going to adapt this into a thing. You know how to save a lot of money? Instead of hiring models, get DOS 3D, free program. There's different models you Too can Too much buy. work. Too, I don't want to learn No, work. all you have to do is they have free poses and everything. It's, no, it's, it's very simple to use. You put the character in there, you, there's clothes that are pretty cheap, you buy them, you dress the character, you, there's, there's all kind of stock poses. Are and you really you gonna sit here in front of all my friends <laughs> and tell me how to do my job? Yeah. Are you really gonna do that right now? Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else with your questions? I had one, but I forgot. Is there nudity? <laughs> For an extra. I'll do it. <laughs> I think not, uh, not me. I mean, I'll. <laughs> We'll make your decision. decision. Okay, you can't all talk at once. Yeah, we can. Free country. I like you. I feel like the president. But normally your target audience, who, who you, you know, who usually gets, I mean, it's not yeah, know, it is middle for school adults. kids. Yeah, right. It is yeah. for adults. But, right. actually, that's kind of a good point. Do I want to market? Should I market to that? You got anything I should market to kids? Go for it. Yeah, that's a good question. Now, you, you want to go for uh, middle school? Yeah. I would market to middle schoolers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, the, they're the best demographic for, for uh, graphic novels, I would, I would say. There's a whole session. My but for Anthem, especially. Yeah. Well, but, it's so, but, I'm ta so I'm, but the thing that I keep thinking is that, can, do you guys care? I mean, so <clears throat> there's that, but the intercourse house or whatever that, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the meeting place. So, or right, the meeting, the meeting place, yeah. right. Oh, so you go there and that's where you procreate, right? But everybody tells you, you don't know who that person is. They're just like, you come into the room and the other person comes into a room and then you do it. And that's like it. And it's supposed to be horrifying to both parties. Um, and that's a really important part of life. So, but middle schoolers, they can't. I mean, you know, I don't really know anything about kids, but like, then it's... again, middle schoolers are reading the original book. But then again, you know, so the I don't think the content is inappropriate necessarily. It's just whether or not you know what what you show, I yeah. suppose, and get around oh, that. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm... I'm up here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the darker you get, the more interested I get in it. And if you, I mean, I get that there's middle school kids, and then you try to. Can you guys see my chest? Uh, no, no, now we can't. You gotta unbutton it first. <laughs> Maybe if you're interested, if you feel it's appropriate, you can do another one that is, you know. School edition or something? Yeah, yeah. school edition. <laughs> oh no, you guys are uh, kind of asking me to compromise my intent. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like I said, you know, it's just something you're gonna have to, you know, probably have to figure out. Anthem Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anthem children's books. And... <laughs> Is there a way to photoshop the bullet? Anthem for kids. <laughs> I am the one making the jokes. I'm sorry. It's the PBS version. Okay. Again, I am the one making the jokes. Right now, so. Have you ever thought of you know continuing the uh, pic the motion picture kind of effect that you had to do an entire you know book like that? 
for, uh, Do you know how long that took? That's two and a half minutes. That was like six days of my life, 24 hours a day. I got no sleep. You did a good job, and I was very impressed. Well, I appreciate that, but I swear to God, I was at the end of that, I was losing my mind at the end of that. Oh, well, I know, I know. I, 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 I know. Stuff like Looks good. So, are the seven issues that you're doing all on Kickstarter, or just the first issue? To be honest, I am not sure how many people are interested in this kind of thing. I know that everybody else in this room is a big fan of Ayn Rand and stuff, but the thing is, Ayn Rand is not popular. Most people do not like her. And I find myself, well, trying to avoid debates with people all the time about Ayn Rand hates the homeless and well, Ayn Rand is bitch. You work in advertising, you're going to find that. I live in Ohio, and I think it's unusual for me to find someone that's even heard of Ayn Rand. Really? Yeah. So if so, so this is the thing that I've noticed. So people want to be good people, but for whatever reason, they were told that Ayn Rand is not good. So if anyone tells you that Ayn Rand sucks or Ayn Rand's a bitch or whatever the stuff. Ask them if they will write another book. Right. It's usually a no. You know, the, the, I was mentioning before to you, we were talking about the previous anthem, Crappy Bell. Oh, the Crappy one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that sold. I mean, I sold that fairly well, considering it's a, a book by Ayn Rand, which you mentioned. It, it sold to, uh, I remember this uh, very specifically. There was a young woman who came in with a Shea t-shirt, and she bought it. I don't know what a Shea t-shirt is. Shea Vera. Okay, Shea Guevara. Oh, human oh, murder. Okay. Shea yeah. Shea Communist t-shirt that's all red. Oh, I thought, oh, no, I know, no, I know, I know. I'm smart. <laughs> I'm smart like everybody else. Um, well, all right, thanks, everybody. Everybody, give it up.